the hell we got Trey Lance for? I can't, bro. I wish I could. I wish I could. Can't. You know what I'm saying? And I ain't going to lie. I, I was just telling a friend of mine um, earlier today about the state of the Cowboys. And um, I'm like, bro, listen, I don't see, like, when I was mad at that <laughs> after the playoffs, because I was mad at that. Yeah, yeah, it's well documented. When I was mad at Dak, I'm like, man, let me see exactly what Trey Lance got to offer. Like, it, am I, am I missing it with him? Let me, let me reevaluate him. So I went back and watched a lot of his college tape. I went back and watched all of his starts with the 49ers, and I left there feeling worse about the situation. <laughs> I'm gonna tell you right now. I swear to y'all, I was looking, I was going in optimistically, <laughs> like I'm like. I'm going to show you, Dak. This is why they do it. Let me let me see what Trey got, and then maybe we can have a young version of you. I went into it optimistic about Trey. When I got done, I felt worse. So I'm going to tell you right now, like, I, I he has he has been a year removed from that, from now maybe about two years removed from, from the starts that we've seen with uh, the 49ers. He about two years removed, so he can improve. But I'm going to tell you right now, I ain't see it, bro. I ain't see it. And I I, I really feel like I'm a, um, I'm a good evaluator of a, uh, at the quarterback position. Like, I, I really do pride myself at that and wide receiver. So, trust me, I didn't see it. Like, he winding up. He running around. He was a running back in college, basically. This man was just running around the field playing D3 people and, and running around till people got open. So let's not act like Trey Lance is just this savior, bro. Like, I hope he's got better because we didn't we didn't put all this uh capital into him. I hope he's got better. You know what I'm saying? But we ain't even seen nothing. Before all these Trey Lance people come out of the sewers and stuff and start arising and stuff, let's see how he look in count. You know what I'm saying? Get a man a chance to 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 show something in count before we do all of that. Listen to me. Let's look into the camera. <laughs> Listen to me. Drugs. They're not good. Okay? <laughs> put the drugs down, bro. If you honestly think. But just put them down, bro. Put the drugs down. Okay? <laughs> like. He got a weird throat. Like, he got a weird, weird release and everything. Like, they got to redo a lot of his game, bro. And he was he was like a goat at a D3 level. Bro, you know the crazy. That's what making people look at him like, oh, so you know the, was Carson Wentz. You know so the was Carson thing, Wentz. The and thing, they went to the same school. Facts. My, my fault. Go ahead. You know, the only thing that gives Trey Lance value is the fact that Jerry Jones went and, and got him. That's it. That's it. There is no value. The only thing that fans are hinging their admiration for Trey Lance is on the fact that Jerry Jones went and got him. And you guys feel that if Jerry Jones did that, he has to know what he's doing. Well, guess what? Jerry Jones is the only, the same one who hasn't paid CeeDee Lamb, who hasn't paid Dak Prescott, didn't want to pay Zach Martin. Um, he, he traded Amari Cooper for a fifth round pick. <laughs> like, bro, that's the same Jerry Jones, bro. That's the same Jerry Jones making those decisions. The same one. Same guy. You know what I'm saying? So how can y'all trust? I'm just, I don't know. I'm just saying maybe Jerry Jones didn't make the right decisions in trading Trey Lance in the first place. I don't know. You know what I'm saying? I don't know. But I just know, are we really talking about having Trey Lance starting quarterback? Like, what are we talking about? Why? For what reason? What would be the reason you would start that Trey Lance? Well, why would you want? So that you could see. So you could see what? Go to training camp. Exactly. What? Go to training camp. I ain't gonna lie. I, I told you I was going in optimistic about it. I'm like, man, maybe, maybe I'm missing it. Maybe Jerry sees it. Maybe it's a hassle. I'm like, uh, nah. I felt worse. I'm like, what in the world was Trey? What in the world was Jerry doing, sir? Like, what yeah, was like, he doing? Yeah, it's, it, that's funny, man. Because listen. Like there be some people that do like some of the stuff that Kanye does. It just like it's just like and you look back over it at the end. It's like man, that was it was that was uber smart. But some of the stuff you just be like, bro, that was dumb. It didn't make no sense. You know what I'm saying? And guess what? That didn't, it didn't make no sense. It didn't make you know what I'm saying. But Jerry Jones has a history of doing sporadic things. And I'm gonna tell you guys what it really shows. It really shows that you guys still have faith in Jerry Jones. That's what it really shows. Because you guys are willing to trust Jerry Jones versus trusting what you've seen on tape from Trey Lance. And that's what you're basically doing. Because the tape says that he's exactly where he's supposed to be, a third-string quarterback. 
It's wild to think that yeah, we paying. He, over your, he doesn't have any film that says he's better than Cooper Rush. We paying all this money for three quarterbacks. And, that, and think about this. That's another reason why he has value. And, th- and guess what? You know what fans do? They take all those and they say, well, if that's the case, there's no reason. There's no way Jerry Jones would pay somebody if he's not. What is you talking about? They paid Keanu Neal $5 million to pretend to be a linebacker. He was a safe. <laughs> hey, shout out to Brandon Mahoney. I, I, I rise with the comments. She went in on that. <laughs> she said, I don't care what the coach of the 49ers said. If Trey Lance was good, he would be there. It's hard to argue about that, bro. Thank you. It's hard. It's hard to uh, disagree with that. I can't now, lie. Think about this. They got. Oh my. Oh my. You know what? I gotta go, and we gonna end the show on that. But I'm gonna say. <laughs> I'm gonna. I'm gonna say this right here. We know for a fact that the 49ers are a way more fair um, team than us. You wanna know why? Because they actually got a seventh round pick quarterback starting, and they did. They started that boy over two first overall picks, bro. Thanks. Trey Lance wasn't a first overall, but he was like a top five pick. And then Sam Darnold was a top five pick. And you know what they said? Put that seventh round pick in there. So guess he what? He looked better. He looked better. So And guess what? The 49ers went farther than us. So unfortunately, I got to trust what they said. <laughs> that was Thanks. a phenomenal comment. She, she went in on that one. I can't even hate on it. Women I can't in football. Even hate on it. Have, that's why women in football are important. <laughs> I can't even hate on it. Shout out to Nigel. Wan- Whoever, who's, listen to me. Whoever said that, who was that that, that made, it was a woman too. It that not, was Brandon Mahoney. She went in on that one. That, was that comment freaking right comment there. just, that, I don't have to argue Trey Lance anymore. I'm just going to repeat that. Listen to me. The 49ers. He went off with that. I got to yeah. put that on the screen. Then I'm going to put the soup on the screen. Yeah. Who do you think is a more honest franchise? Who, like, if you, who do you think will, who? The 49 for sure. Bro, they started that, they started that over Jimmy Garoppolo too. Yeah, they did. They started him over all. They started a Purdy over and all them. This over a dude who took them to the Super Bowl right now. Yeah, the NFC Championship. NFC Garoppolo Championship. went far, far with them. You know what I'm saying? And they, and they picked Purdy over him. And guess what they told Trey Lance? Sit your ass on the bench. <laughs> go over there. Go sit. But we hey. supposed to, we supposed to tell them they was wrong. That's go what over there. And and I love what you said, Landlord, because you said when he first did it, I was like, why? I would be like. And to be honest with you, like that's that's a form of Jerry saying or the organization it was well, actually Jerry because everybody in the organization said they had nothing to do with it. But that is a thing of Jerry Jones just wanting to do what you want to do. And I'm going to tell you, like what I think Trey Lance was, I think Trey Lance was a Jerry Jones moment of asserting himself and reminding everybody in the building whose team this is. He had to. He had to do a little power like, move. Then. Like, have you ever, like, have you ever, like, kind of, like, got into it with your son, and he be walking through the ne- going through the house, you kind of push his ass down? I don't know. Maybe I'm the only dad that do that. You <laughs> know what I'm saying? Like, I do it. You know what I'm saying? I get into it with my son, and every now I'm like, man, I just push a little ass. Let me remember, I'm bigger than you. <laughs> All right. Uh, yeah, uh, yeah. Got to know who's boss. Yeah, remember who bigger than you, who run this. You know what I'm saying? I think Jerry. I think every now and then Jerry Jones does those moves because he can. Yeah. And because you guys can't. And you seen he didn't talk to nobody. He just went straight and did it. And when they reported that, it alarmed me. I'm like, yeah, that's that's crazy right now. And then Jerry said a quarterback. How, how much film do you think Jerry did on, on Trey Lance? Not none. You want to know why? Because he hasn't. How much film does he have on him now? And think about Nobody that. ain't got much film on him to get. Listen to me, bro. You know, let's go, bro. Let's go, bro. I'm gonna be I, I, mad because he ain't even got enough. He don't even got a lot of film on him. Hey, Nobody do. Landlord, listen to me. Listen to me. And I promise we're gonna go after this. But that's how you know Trey Lance is really on this team for reasons that have nothing to do with football. To piss Dak off because bro, and it worked. Because there's it no worked. film on him, bro. There's no football film. What are you doing? You had 17, 18 games. Listen to me. There were nine games that Dak didn't even play in the fourth quarter. Eight games. I'm sorry. And you never, you never, well, he, he, he couldn't, he couldn't play over Cooper. Though. He couldn't. And that, and that says a lot right there alone. Good day. <laughs> oh, man. That says a whole lot oh, right now. Hey, I just caught that. I literally yeah, just caught that right now. It says a lot. He couldn't, we couldn't play around and use him as the backup quarterback just in case we actually had an injury. We didn't even want to risk that. Wow. And, but, but to be fair though, to be fair, he is 23 years old, though, and he's just as young as a lot of these draft pick quarterbacks. Like, I think Michael Penix is the same age as him. 
So he could have been coming out of the draft now. So he's still a very, very young player. And like I said, we can't. Uh, he's not a finished product. And, you know, maybe Mike McCarthy can whisper to him or something. I don't know, you know. he Maybe he's the quarterback whisperer that we all thought he was Jordan. back in the day. Hey Jordan, you know, hey Jordan, hey Moore, I appreciate what you said. That's a great comment. But listen to me, you don't give up a first. You don't. They gave up. They gave up assets to go get Trey Lamb, and then they just gave him away. You don't. You don't optics. You don't know. You don't optics. You know what optics is you keep people for optics. You don't. What, who is? Who are you getting? Who are you trying to solidify? He can't. If, is Sam Darnold behind him? <laughs> look, the comment that she said, I get it. But listen, what, listen what they say, or is that I don't know. The person said. Okay, I was listening to the journalist today that covers the 49ers, and he said that he observed Trey Lance perform at least on the same level as Sam Donner in training camp last year. The 49ers traded Lance for more optics than anything. But think about this. If he performed at the same level as Sam Donner, who got the most um, draft draft time? The one that you The one that who, you traded up for. Who can you sell the best? Ain't nobody buying Sam Donald. <laughs> you see what I'm saying? So they like, hey, if I can, if if he's just Sam Donald level, we could just keep Sam Donald and finesse somebody. <laughs> that's what that's what they did. You know what I'm saying? They was like, hey, okay, if if he's not the level that we need him to be, we can trick somebody else and sell him a drink. Hey, you know what? I will say this: there is not enough data to cost Trey Lance a bust, but there's also not enough data to pay him 22 million dollars too. And you finna have to make a decision on him soon. That's the, and that's the problem that we have. So we're about to pay him $22 million. He will be paying, making, think, think about this. Trey Lance will actually be making more as a backup quarterback than almost everybody on your defense. Wait a minute. Is he making more than Cooper Rush right now? Yes, bruh. That's why I said it's weird, bruh. He and makes more why. than Cooper Rush right now. Well, he make, listen, he was making more than Cooper Rush last year. I said this last year. I said the Cowboys are the only team in the Cal in America that has a third string quarterback making more than the second string quarterback. I'm gonna just say this and I'm done with. No lie. If Trey Lance is not the future of the Dallas Cowboys, this is one of the dumbest moves I ever seen in my life. This is one of the dumbest moves I ever seen. Cause look, you put yourself in a pressurized situation. You finna have to make a decision on Trey and you ain't even seen him. And you have no film on him, bruh. You finna have to make a decision on him. You just paid him all this money. You just gave up draft capital for him. Now it's almost time to sign him. So that's all I'm saying, man. That if if he's not the future of the Dallas Cowboys, this is by far one of the dumbest moves that we ever done.